Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Jill and I wish you and your family peace, joy, health, and happiness this season. But we know for so many of you in our nation, this has been a very difficult year. And we're reminded in this season of hope, our common humanity, and what we're called to do for one another. Many of our fellow Americans are struggling to find work, literally put food on the table, pay their rent or their mortgage. We're reminded we're on this earth to care for one another, to give what we can, and to be a source of help and hope to friend and stranger alike. Many families are facing their first Christmas having lost a loved one. And Joe and I know that sorrow. And we know how in times of grief, a kind word can mean so much. This is also a season of gratitude. And we're so thankful for the frontline and essential workers who have put themselves at risk for all of us and for the scientists and researchers who have worked to deliver vaccines that are an incredible scientific breakthrough. And we're thinking of our service members who are far from home and the loved ones who miss them. Our family knows your sacrifice and our hearts are with you. For the Bidens, we usually have 20 to 25 people over Christmas Eve for dinner, but not this year. We'll, uh, we're gonna miss our family, but it's what we need to do to keep our family safe. We hope you'll consider limiting travel and the size of family gatherings as well this year. Even as our celebrations are dimmed, we know that this won't be forever and brighter days are coming soon. On this holy day, we remember that love and joy can be shared across the farthest distances. We celebrate apart, but not alone, and look forward to next year when we can come together with renewed appreciation for the people and the traditions we love. So from our family to yours, Merry Christmas and and Happy happy holidays. Holidays.